welcome to my monthly favorites. I'm calling this video fall favorites because I owe you guys two months worth of favorites. So we got so much good stuff to go through today. As always, I will link everything mentioned in today's video down below in the description bar in case you guys want to check that out. So on that note, let's get started. All right, y'all. So today we're going to start off with some home travel items, then we'll move to beauty, and then we'll end with some fashion stuff. Monthly favorite number one is going to be my favorite new water bottle. Jeremy and I have been so obsessed with these water bottles. We've been using it every single day, whether we're going to the gym, going to run errands, or just like drinking water at home. These guys are from a brand called Embrava. I got them both off of Amazon.com. I've got the frosted pink one in the 18 ounce size and the frosted black one in 32 ounce. The outside of the bottle is covered in this very like velvety soft material. It not only gives it a frosted look, but it helps reduce the condensation that builds outside of normal water bottles. Nothing sucks more when you throw your water bottle in your purse and it gets everything soaking wet. Then you've got a ruler on the side in case you need to measure out your ounces and then a handy dandy durable carrying strap. The drinking spout is enclosed in this hard plastic cap. You press a little button right here and it violently flings open. <laughs> and here is where the money is, the drinking spout. It gives you the most consistent streaming, no disruption flow of water in any water bottle I've ever tried. And last but not least, if you do have ice in your water, you have this nice aerated tray that prevents the ice from blocking the flow of water. So I know it sounds really weird, but the drinking experience is like so supreme. The little one is around $20. I think the big guy is around 24, 25. I think these are amazing gifts for family members or anyone that's active or is a big advocate for reusable water bottles. You got to check me out. Moving on to monthly favorite number two, let's talk about a travel item. I gotta give this a shout out because I have been traveling nonstop the past few months and I've taken this on every single trip and I've loved it more and more every time I use it. So this guy's from eBags. This is the flat toiletry bag. The body shape really allows you to save so much space in your luggage. It is completely flat, but it allows you to put a lot of stuff in here. I can pack my entire bag and just lay this guy right on top and it just seamlessly melts into all the crap in my suitcase. I'm gonna quickly take you guys through each of these pockets. Inside the main compartments, you have a nice little hook so you can hang this on any of the towel bars inside your hotel room. You have a mesh pocket on the top that I like to use for like Q-tips and cotton pads. And then down below you have a few organizational mesh pockets along with a more waterproof, completely sealed pocket in the front. Then on the right side, you have the entire side compartment that's covered in waterproof material. So if there's anything that's sensitive or anything you think will explode in flight, I like to put this in here because it will protect it from getting everything else in my luggage wet. And then on the left side of the main compartment, you have two other zipper sections along with an extra zipper for full expansion. And it gives you greater volume in either side of the section. I'm able to fit all of my skincare and toiletries in here. That is not including makeup. Let me repeat that. That does not include all of my makeup. I still use the Lay & Go cosmetic bag for all my makeup. So all the other non-makeup stuff goes in here. This guy regular price is $29. I got it on like a discount for about like $25. Highly recommend it if you guys travel a lot and want to use some space saving technology. <laughs> Moving on to monthly favorite number three. This one is kind of weird. <laughs> Please don't judge me. It is a baby humidifier. I cannot believe my entire adult life I have never used a humidifier. I visited my friend in Colorado and she had one in her guest room and I completely fell in love with it. I guess living in Texas there wasn't like any dry air so I never thought to use one. She had put a few drops of lavender and eucalyptus oil in there and honey I was like oh so relaxing, like you're in a spa. It was like the nicest thing to come to at the end of the day. So I originally got mine just for aromatherapy purposes. This guy I got off Amazon.com for only $18. This was very similar to the one she had in her house. This guy is from a brand called Up Power, but I saw a lot of different like generic brands making this exact same model. So I don't think you should have any trouble finding this exact same one. This guy is really easy to operate. You just twist the top off and take it off. You have the water reservoir in here. You pour the water up to the max line. I like to drop like six to 10 drops of essential oil. I like it really strong. Screw the top back on and then you'll see these two little buttons here on the side. The light button changes the color of the glow and then the mist button helps control the amount of mist you want. Very simple, very easy. It's nice and small so it's not really intrusive on your nightstand. It has been such an amazing sleep aid for me. It is so relaxing to smell all the lavender smells while I'm going to bed. But most importantly, I wake up without a sore throat. Normally I wake up with like dust coming out of my mouth because my throat 
is so dry. But that has not happened ever since I started using this guy. If you are interested in the essential oil kit that I got, I also got this with it off Amazon.com. This guy is from a company called Rada Beauty and it comes with six different essential oils. It comes with tea tree, lemon glass, lemon glass lemon grass <laughs> lavender eucalyptus peppermint and citrus oil you can use one or you can mix and match them they all smell so fantastic i think this set costs around like 15 16 bucks great home purchases i might even feature these guys in my gift guide coming up next month so <laughs> moving on to my favorite number four this is a food item that has literally changed my life i have finally found the king of vegan cheeses these are the vegan chow slices from the company field roast this is a vegan coconut based cheese alternative and it's flavored with fermented soybean curd. I don't think I've ever tried a vegan cheese that really was able to nail like the texture, like the really luscious creaminess of cheese, also the meltability of cheese and this company has gotten all of it nailed down. They've got three different flavors. I actually only have two because these are my two favorites and I use the most often. You've got the creamy original, coconut herb and the third one is tomato cayenne. The creamy original literally tastes just like Munster cheese and the coconut herb kind of tastes like cheese curds with a little bit of black pepper. Both of them are so amazing. I put them on my sandwiches. I tear them up and throw them on my eggs to let it melt a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> so freaking good. I can honestly say that I don't even crave cheese the way I used to anymore. These guys completely satisfy me. If you guys are lactose intolerant or you're vegan, you've got to give these a try. Really funny but not funny story. I gave this to my vegan friend and I forgot that she was allergic to soy. So we were like chowing it down and she was like, is there soy in these? And I was like, Anyway, I'm gonna link this site down below for you guys to check out all the locations that they offer these. They come in packages of 10 and they're around $7. All right guys, let's move on to the beauty favorites. Simply favorite number five and six are going to be face washes that I have been adoring. So these are two new Korean cleansers. First one is going to be from Tony Molly. This is the banana cream foam cleanser. Do you just love the packaging? I just wanna eat it. This cleanser literally smells like a bunch of bananas. Like you just smashed bananas all over your face. It smells so freaking good. I got this off of Amazon and as you can see, it's a sizable bottle that's gonna last me forever. As the name states, this is a foam cleanser. The actual consistency is nice and thick and creamy. And once you start getting it going with some water in your hands, it has a really nice thick lather. It's able to break down all of the dirt and makeup off my face, but it never leaves it like super stripped. And it never breaks out in rashes. I love this so much for a gentle cleanser at the end of the day. And then moves on to favorite cleanser number two. This is number six. This is the one that I use in the morning. I guess I should have done this one first over this one, but whatever. This one is going to be so great for all of you guys that like to wash your face in the morning, but you don't want to do anything heavy duty. This guy is from the company Cost RX, and this is the low pH good morning gel cleanser. This guy comes out completely clear and a little bit more fluid. You're going to get barely any lather on this guy, but that is like the point. Anything that's going to be tightening or stripping of your natural oils is going to really F up your skin for whenever you put on your daytime skincare, your SPF, and your makeup. And I'd almost recommend this for those of you who have really sensitive skin. It's meant to be extremely mild. This might be a good guy for you. So I also got this guy off of Amazon for around $10 or less too. I've been loving this Korean skin cleansing duo. I've been using this as step number two in my 10 step Korean uh, skincare regimen. Not only are these guys super affordable, but you get so much product and they work really well. Moving on to monthly favorite number seven, let's stay in the Korean beauty department. I finally found a primer that works for my funky multi-terrain, oily yet dry, high maintenance skin. I do not think I've loved a face primer so much in my life. This is the J1 Jelly Pack Skin Mask Slash Gripping Primer. Crazy, crazy popular item right now and it's definitely one of the most innovative primers that I ever tried. Basically I have to use one to two pumps. I put it on the tips of my fingers and I kind of smash it together a little bit to get an even distribution on the fingers. I then go ahead and go into my T-zone first and just kind of pump it into my skin, just lightly tapping it until it melts into oblivion. I then wait 30 seconds for it to kind of sink in and dry. As I mentioned, it's also like a skin mask. It has a lot of hydrating properties. You can feel it really nourishing your skin. And 
once it's dry, you can kind of feel your skin. It has just the slightest tacky feeling. Do not fret. That gripping action is what fuses your foundation to your skin for the most beautiful, flawless look. It is seriously the weirdest, thickest, clear, gunkity, goopity <laughs> gel mixture. And it definitely takes a little bit to master, but once you do it, it is absolutely fantastic. I can't really gauge how long this guy's gonna last me, but it is a pretty sizable bottle at 1.7 fluid ounces. This guy cost $42 and I got it at Sephora. Moving on to monthly favorite number eight, I have a lip product to show you guys. If you guys know me, I do not wear lip product or lipsticks that often. So when I do find ones that I love, I definitely like to talk about it. So these guys are from Bite Beauty. These are the new multi sticks and I have two different colors. I have cashew and almond. I'm currently wearing the cashew color. I was going to just buy one color, but both of them gave me two completely different looks. I don't have too many super nude matte lipsticks. So I just said, hey, why not buy both? Because the formula is so bomb ass. I didn't even know there were like multi sticks when I tried them on. I was like, wait, you're supposed to put them on other places other than your lips? You can literally use this guy on your eyes, on your cheeks. The formula is so non-drying for something that looks so beautifully velvety and matte. Also, they have an amazing range of different colors, all of the nudes. They have such a great nude variety so that you can really match your skin tone absolutely perfectly. I think these guys are around $28 a piece. I got these at Sephora. I also got one for my mom. We love them so much. Really great thing to have in your makeup bag because since it's multi-purpose, it makes it really versatile. Monthly favorite number nine. I told you guys I had a lot to talk about tonight. I got a set of three new brushes. These are my three main face brushes. I have not upgraded my brushes for many, many years. All the ones I use are just busted. So I thought I'd upgrade to something that's gonna last me for a while. I actually used the Sephora app in the store to see what like the best selling brushes were and this line kept coming up over and over and over again. These are a part of the Sephora Pro Featherweight line and I got the numbers 90, 91, and 92. It feels like angelic silk on your face. I'm actually able to layer on and build up product very gradually without it looking so cakey. Just a flawless airbrush application every single time. So I use this big daddy one. This is number 91 for whenever I'm doing the main finishing powder all over my um, face. If I need to go in for some more precision areas like underneath my nose or underneath my eyes, I use 91 since it has a smaller domed head. And then 92 is the fan brush body. I use this guy if I need a highlighting brush for above my cheekbones. I dip it in my highlighter and just rock it into just a nice little C motion right here on the top of my cheekbones. And it gives me that immediate diffused blended highlighting effect without having to go going with a precision brush and then blending it out. So love this trio so, so much. I plan on using and keeping and taking care of these for years to come. These were definitely investment pieces. I think each of them cost anywhere between 30 to $40. I have not tried the Morphe brand yet. I know everyone swears by Morphe, so I'm gonna probably try to try out that brand whenever I swap out my eyeshadow brushes. I've literally been using my Bedellium brushes from Amazon for like six years now, so I'm due for an upgrade. If you guys have any suggestions on Morphe brushes or any other brand that I should try next, definitely leave them down below in the comments for me. I love to read. Moving on to the last category of the day, let's talk about some fashion items. My favorite number 10 is going to be my favorite new sunglass brand. These guys are from the Australian sunglass company called Key, but it's spelled like Quay, Q-U-A-Y. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard of the brand, but I just bought my first two pairs. You guys. It is so hard for me to find sunglasses because I have the widest face in the world. Not widest, widest. <laughs> like if you smashed a crepe with a 16 wheeler, I have the widest face ever. So to actually find really trendy sunglasses to fit my face is just like, oh, miracle. The first pair that I got, the model is called Needing Frame and I got the color in clear brown. These guys almost have like a, there's a booger on this sunglass. <laughs> There's literally a booger on the sunglass. <laughs> what is my problem? You've got that cool bar across the top to connect the lenses, and then you have almost like an American Apparel hipster feel with like the clear plastic edges that surround the frames. These guys were 55, and then the second pair I got was a part of the Desi Perkins and Key collaboration. These are called the High Key Aviator sunglasses. I got the gold color, and I just love how they're like J Lo fabulous. It's got this high sheen mirror effect along the lenses. I've 
I've always wanted a really cool pair of aviators for myself. And I finally found them. If you haven't heard of this brand, they have some sick ass styles on their site. You have that really nice high end designer look, but for a nice medium price range, I think all of their sunglasses are between $50 to $60. And also you can find a majority of them on Nordstrom.com too. Moving on to monthly favorite number 11 and 12. I have two different jackets to talk about. One of them you've seen a lot and one of them you haven't seen that much of unless you follow me on Instagram. I just brought this guy to Colorado. This is the Sherpa wedge jacket that I got at Express. This guy regular price is 98, but I got it on sale for like 60 bucks. I think it actually might still be on sale today, so I'll check it out. It is as soft as a freaking cloud. I have been so obsessed with this jacket because it is the most insanely soft, but like actually lightweight jacket. The entire exterior is this super soft, like shirling, and I love the muted gray color. The inside is lined in this really soft, like stretchy, like jersey material. It feels like a super worn in sweatshirt on the inside. Then the actual shape of the jacket, you have a nice shawl in the front, but it's also more of like a cocoon oversized shape. I wore it when I was traveling and I wore it every day while I was in Colorado. It's got such a cool glam rock feel to it and it feels like a cloud is just hugging you. It just makes me so so happy. It is just the coolest funkiest jacket. If you guys are into teddy bear jackets, you guys have to check this out. It's so fluffy! And for monthly favorite number 12, you guys can probably guess what jacket this is. Yes, mama. My blank NYC morning suede jackets have been my best companion throughout this fall season. You guys have seen it in multiple lookbooks right now. I'm so sorry if you guys are so sick at looking at these jackets, but seriously, this is such an amazing fashion find. A lot of these suede leather motorcycle jackets out there cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this jacket has been so popular. They literally just released it in so many different colors. I got the burgundy one first during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And then I ended up buying this coffee bean one, which I probably wear a little bit more often than the burgundy one. And these guys are definitely an investment. I got the sale one for 120 and the regular price one for 188. It's legit been one of my favorite jackets like of all time. Such an amazing outfit finisher. You can throw this on even the most basic of things and you're an instant cool girl. All right, home stretch y'all. My final monthly favorite is going to be a category. I wonder if you guys can guess it too. My last monthly favorite is going to be menswear inspired shoes. I've got three different pairs to show you guys. The first two I'm not gonna go crazy in depth in because I went over them in depth. And my 2016 fall shoe guide, menswear inspired shoe favorite number one is going to be my halogen Emily loafers. I love the contrast of the black snake print on the toe compared to the smooth leather on the sides and the shiny band across the top. I break these guys out if I'm looking for something a little bit more streamlined and professional. Then menswear inspired favorite shoe number two are going to be my Summit Brody Platform Oxfords. I think I've been wearing these guys a little bit more than the loafers, but I love them both the same. The Oxfords I'll wear in a more casual occasion. I also think they're a little bit more cute, quirky. The coolest feature are these like retro platforms and then the cool cutouts on the side. Remember when I asked you guys which ones I should keep between the loafers and the oxfords? Well, yeah, I ended up keeping both of them because they serve two totally different purposes in my wardrobe. And last but not least, my third favorite menswear inspired shoe. These are brand new. I got these off of ASOS.com. To some of you, they probably look so freaking weird. But the backless loafer or the loafer mule style is insanely popular right now. Gucci makes the most popular pair, but honey, I ain't got $600 to spend. These guys are a little bit more affordable at $98, but they're actually made out of real leather. They have the same really sleek, thin hardware on the tops of the shoe. The actual leather itself is very bendable and soft. I wasn't too into this style until I tried them on. I was like, damn, these are really cool. And it's a nice way to like slide on and get out the door, but you still have this really cool polished preppy look to them. I think they're really cool. If you're into the style or if you're looking for those Gucci dupes, highly recommend these guys. They also come in, I believe, white and I think a metallic color. All right, guys, that does it for my fall favorites. Definitely owed you guys a lot of favorites the past two months, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for hanging in there. As I mentioned before, everything mentioned in today's video is down below in the description bar in case you guys want to check that out. It has been such a crazy, crazy situation in the world.
world. No matter who you are, I just want to let you know that I love you and I am so happy that we both have this little space in the internet for us to get together and forget all the worries in the world, talk about fashion, talk about life, talk about beauty, and enjoy the things that make us super happy. No matter where you guys are out there, I'm giving you guys a big cyber hug. I've been needing it too, so I love you guys to death. I'll see you in a few days. Bye!